You can use a hair cycle to work out an unknown enthalpy change of a reaction using combustion enthalpies. Uh, here's the scheme where we start from reactants, go to products, don't know what the enthalpy change is, but you do know what the combustion enthalpy uh, of the starting materials uh, are. Uh, that would be the energy change going from the reactants to combusted products. And you may also know the combustion enthalpy uh, of the products. That would be going from the products to the combusted products. And these would be the same. Whatever you've got here, if you burn it completely, you'll end up with these things. And if you do the same with the products, then you'll also end up with these things. So uh, as an example... This question says, calculate the enthalpy change for the reaction of carbon with hydrogen to form C2H2. What kind of enthalpy change is this? So the reaction is carbon plus hydrogen going to C2H2. And the data which you've been given is the combustion enthalpy of carbon. So that would be going from carbon to carbon dioxide. Combustion enthalpy of hydrogen. So that would be going from hydrogen to water and the combustion enthalpy of C2H2, which would be to form carbon dioxide and water. So here is a Hess cycle. We start with uh, carbon and hydrogen, and they react to form uh, acetylene C2H2, and it's this reaction which we don't know the enthalpy for. However, we know that the enthalpy of combustion of the reactants here is going to be uh, two times the enthalpy of combustion of carbon plus the enthalpy of combustion of hydrogen. So all the red bit there would be the enthalpy change going from the starting materials to the combusted products, which are carbon dioxide and water. On the other side, the enthalpy change going from C2H2 to those very same combusted products has been given in the question. It's the enthalpy of combustion of C2H2. So to work out delta H reaction, the unknown enthalpy change, we're going to go down this arrow, which is 2 times minus 394 uh, minus 286, and then go up that arrow. So change this sign, the negative becomes a positive, and this sum here gives a total value of plus 226 kilojoules per mole. The question also asked what kind of enthalpy change is this, and uh, this is uh, an enthalpy of formation because you have formed a compound from its elements.